Hey everybody, welcome back to the CoinQuest channel. Thanks for tuning in to this video today. We have a $25 box of pennies that we're going to hunt through. I looked through the holes here, didn't really find any enders, but we're going to check them out both sides right now before we get into it. So let's open it up. Let's see. I don't see any wheat enders at this point. Uh, let me try and flip these over and see if there might be anything on the other side. See how this goes. All right. And not seeing any there either. But we're going to get into this box and hopefully we'll find a good bit of copper and some wheats and hopefully some real special stuff maybe some bu stuff i don't know but we're gonna look through these rolls and at the end we'll let you know what we find well we just finished that box of pennies as you can see it's empty and here's what we found pretty standard as far as copper cents go this is the pile of 59 through 69 and this is the 70s 80 81 and then there's a little pile of 82s back there and here's some unique things that we found as you can see only four wheat cents so a little disappointed in that um, but then you can see some 2009s here you got one canadian 1982 um wanted to highlight this beautiful 1964 but look at the just the corrosion spots on there so that's unfortunate but just a really nice shine and luster to this coin if it didn't have those spots it would be really nice but and then i wanted to take note of a few of these i found a number of these interesting colored pennies um, to me I'm guessing that they've been cleaned they all look the same for the most part let me know what you guys think I'm pretty sure these coins have been cleaned so I found four of them three from the 70s and then 182 that has the same look and uh, and then I found a few error coins. This 1994 has a nice clipped planchet, as you can see there. So that's pretty neat to find. I haven't found too many of those. But then also, I found a number of off-center coins. All of them are, are 2019s. So you can see it's a pretty good ways off center. And uh, this isn't even the, the one that's most pronounced. I think this one might be the most pronounced out of all of them. So I think I found six of these, which was pretty neat. You can see how off center that is. And again, they're all from 2019. I'll show you one more. don't have to show you all of them, but this one is more around the top of the coin. So that's pretty neat. Maybe I'll put these on eBay, see if I can make a few bucks off of them. But uh, turned out to be a box of, of errors, finding those six and then that clipped planchet. Well, let's zoom in on the wheat cents here and see what our dates are. I have not looked at them at all. Let's see what we got. There's a 1940. Here's a 46. Here's a 44. And lastly, a 1953D. So, a little disappointing on the wheats today 
but I am happy to find all these off-center coins and that clipped planchet and pretty standard amount of copper too. So not a bad little hunt out of that $25 box of pennies. Stay tuned for more here on the CoinQuest channel. I hope that you'll subscribe. Hope that you'll like this video and comment down below. And we'll see you next time on the CoinQuest channel.